Next we will see how we can implement the COA protocol in C using libcop. It involves of two steps. First one is setting up the environment and next we are going to test the COA protocol with get method and observe functionality. So go to the libcop uh, home page and, and we need to clone the git repository so so copy the URL and just uh, clone the files to your system So we have cloned uh, the source uh, in a, into our system. So next we need to run that uh, autogen that script file inside the libco. So that will uh, generate the build scripts. So next we need to configure. So in configure, uh, if we need documentation, we can use this tag enable documentation or enable examples. So now I'm not going with the documentation. Now I'm disabling the documentation. So configure disable documentations recommendation okay. so let's wait for uh, to it to get compiled so now this make files are all created so next we need to make the file so for that just make that And thereafter, sudo make install. So I successfully installed the library. So the libcop header files are available in this uh, folder user local include that coyap2. So these are the libcops all available header files available here and similarly the shared object library files will be available in this path uh, like local uh, lib. Okay. So this is the shared files library files available for the libcop. So go to the examples and export the path of uh, the library. So let's uh, compile the uh, server and client file. So compiling the server.c, pyap server. So gcc include the header files. So it's in user. user local include so file name is coapserver.c 
and my output file should be named as squab server and I need to the library name which I want to link my library name so the library name is squab to open SSL so this you can find it from here user local lib so this is the file so this is a so dot file so libcorp to open ssl dot so and with flag d with underscore four six so now the survey is combined similarly we need to compile the client also uh, square client also so square client dot c and my output file is square client sorry sorry client dot c okay so now I compiled both the server and client so I need to run it as a you know, two instance so so my co-op server has started so this all print statements is from the debug level log level so we can you can change it from the source code so in coab client so so this is the usage we, which we need to use so so in this example code that's uh, one resource is running in the server that is uh, get the time so whenever the client request get the time the server is responding that time as a response so if i want to use this method so i am going to use this m method so for that um, coyap client method called get and the ip and the resource name is time so as you can see uh, it sends a co-op message so you can see this debug level printing is showing it's sending a co-op request and it sends nine bytes so similarly it got a response also it's a content that's a 2.05 content so it got responses december 10 16 37 35 that, that's the time so when we see the log of uh, the debug level of server also so it got a new incoming session and it got uh, it received nine bytes in response it sends 28 bytes so likewise that though this is the example shows how this get response is working similarly uh, next we will test on uh, how that observe functionality is working so the server will be running so next i just want to use so the same logic only for to observe the same for the thing i need to subscribe this uh, this resource so for that uh, the minus s and 120 that's uh, how many the timeout how many seconds i just want to uh, put it on the observe list so I'm just doing this so as you can see so whenever the time of seconds changes it's keep on uh, the server keep on notifying to the client so this all the see you can see for every second I'm getting a uh, response from the server so these also uh, features the observe functionality